In a recent video, I mentioned that I wanted to test out which of the Spider Farmer lights I have that would give me the best results in one of their 27 inch by 27 inch grow tents when set to 100 watts, and that is what we are going to be looking at today. Before we get started with the results, pause the video and let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen. I had my own ideas going into this, and I wasn't really surprised, but I am curious what you think the results are going to be, and which light is going to come out on top. We have three of the Spider Farmer lights that we are going to be taking a look at in this test, the SF1000 EVO, the SF2000 Pro, and the G3000. We are turning the SF1000 EVO all the way up to its maximum power draw, which for this test is 103 watts. After getting all of those measurements, we put the SF2000 Pro inside the tent and turned it down to 103 watts of power draw as well, which was about 50 on the dimmer dial. Finally, once I had gotten those measurements, I put the G3000 in the tent and set it to 103 watts as well, which was about 40 on the dial. With all three lights hanging at 12 inches, you can see some pretty interesting differences between all of the lights. The SF1000 EVO and SF2000 Pro both have very high levels in the very center of the tent at almost 700 par each, with the SF2000 Pro dropping off a bit towards the edges of the tent and the SF1000 Pro dropping off quite a bit. The G3000, however, has lower light levels in the center, but they are pretty even across the entire canopy instead. This is not surprising at all, as the board style lights have all of their LEDs concentrated into a smaller space in the middle of the tent, while the G3000 has its LEDs spread out across several bars that nearly fill the tent. If I was planning on having the plant within 12 inches of the light, I would probably go with the SF2000 Pro in this instance, especially if I was going to run a single plant in the center of the tent. I would get the most light to the central canopy, along with better edge results than the SF1000 EVO. The G3000 is nice and even across the entire canopy, which is great, but the light levels in the center are just a lot lower as all of the LEDs are distributed further apart. Moving the light up to 24 inches really starts to even things out between the lights, which isn't really surprising. Now that all three of them are a bit further away, the light is able to be dispersed more evenly for all of them, and as they are all pulling the same amount of power, we are seeing very similar results across the board. All three of them are close to 300 par in the center, with the G3000 coming in on top with 314, the SF2000 Pro is next with 300, and finally the SF1000 EVO has 289. They are all pretty evenly matched around the perimeter, again because the light is better able to be spread out and reflected by the sides of the tent. At this height, all three of them are going to give you very similar results. Finally, moving up to a 36 inch hanging height, things get a little more interesting, though I wouldn't really recommend using any of these lights at these settings as the par levels are just too low. In the center, the G3000 comes out on top again with 247 par, the SF2000 Pro is a little lower at 239, and the SF1000 EVO comes in at 226. Again, they are all pretty similar around the edges for the same reasons that we talked about at 24 inches. This is a bit of a weird comparison for sure, as most folks don't buy a light to handicap it and to run it way below its maximum output. However, if you are under a power budget like I am, this is the kind of info that I needed to be able to figure out so that I could make an informed decision on what to use. What am I going to pick, you may be asking? I think that I am going to go with the SF2000 Pro for my needs, as it will give me the best par levels in the center if I keep the canopy around 12 inches away from the light, with decent light levels across the edges if the plant gets that big. This also gives me some flexibility towards the end of a grow if I did want to crank it up a bit more and could afford the extra power budget, which is nice. Again though, this is only a choice that I would make if I needed to stay at 100 watts like I am now and because I have the lights. If you are looking at which light you should pick up for a tent this size, as always, it is going to come down to your budget and your needs. Right now, you can get the SF1000 EVO on the Spider Farmer website for $90, which is really affordable for the amount of light that we saw at 12 inches. 
You can pick up the SF2000 Pro right now for $200 on their website, which is going to give you a slightly larger board that will fill up the tent more and give you double the amount of available power at 200 watts. Finally, there is the G3000, which is going to give you the most even light levels across the entire canopy and is going to cost you $270 at the moment. It also gives you the largest amount of light as you can pull up to 300 watts when turned all the way up. I always recommend getting the biggest light that you can afford to fit inside of your tent as it will give you more even light levels and the most flexibility with dial settings to crank the light up or turn it down depending on your needs. A big thank you to Spider Farmer for sending over all of these lights for us to take a look at. If you would like to try one of them out for yourself, I will leave links to them all on the Spider Farmer website in the description down below. Make sure to use code GEEKS at checkout to get an 8% discount on your entire order.